The play, story I'm reading to you today is called Plain Possum. It's an unusual book, but a fun book we're going to find out. Possum. Plain Possum, and it's by, let's see, by Jennifer Black Reinhardt. Plain Possum. Alfred was born a possum, and when a possum feels nervous, it freezes and plays like he's dead. This was unfortunate for Alfred, for he was a very nervous possum. Just look at him. He's all stretched out there. Because of his nervous nature, Alfred felt uncomfortable being the focus of attention, any, any attention. So he did not do well at school. The sign here says, quiz today, raise your hand, claw, talon, fin, hoof, wing, and so on for attention before you begin. Good luck. He did not excel in sports and making friends was too terrifying to contemplate. Alfred was a very lonely possum. He was so alone. Poor Alfred. One day Alfred noticed Sophia. Sophia was born an armadillo and when an armadillo feels nervous it curls into a ball. Meeting someone new can be very scary. So you think he's scared of this armadillo? Let's find out. So Alfred played dead. And Sophia curled up. So they were afraid of each other. That is really interesting, don't you think? There she is in a ball. And there he's playing dead, just stands quiet. After a little while, they both looked, felt calmer. Alfred unfree, froze and Sophia unfurled. And as they stared at each other, they realized they had something in common. There they are. What do you think they have in common? Let's find out what they have in common. You think about it. When they were together, knowing this made them feel safe. So that's what they had in common. They felt safe when they were with each other. Okay, let's find out some more. When Sophia curled up, Alfred just waited. There she is all curled up and he's sitting there just waiting. When Alfred froze, Sophia just waited. So Alfred here is froze, and, and she's just waiting for him to unfreeze. Have you ever done that yourself? Stood in one area by yourself and just stood there or just sat there? They begin to trust that when they become themselves again, they would see a friend. So look at them. They're having singing even. So they're really having fun. Alfred hardly ever froze and Sophia was rarely round. They saw they had something in common with others, sometimes who sometimes felt afraid. So other, other animals were, had, were afraid too. We can show them self kindness and friendship, said Alfred. There they are, a porcupine and a skunk and a turtle. And that will make them less anxious, cheered Sophia. So let's read this book story again. We can show them kindness and friendship, said Alfred, and that will make them less anxious cheered Sophia. So they were going to help their friends. 
It took some patience, a lot of understanding. Don't be afraid to be you. And a little forgiveness. But before long, making friends became easier, so they did other scary things. What kind of scary things do you think they did? And this was fortunate. See, they stood by and watched their other friends doing all kinds of fun things that were kind of scary. There they are, Sophia and Alfred. Alfred is painting a picture for everyone. Look at the picture he's painting. This here is the picture he's painting right here. See, right up there. The author likes to tell you about truth and imagination. Sometime we'll do do that, but right now we won't do get into truth and imagination. But I just thought I'd show you the different friends that Alfred and Sophia found. The armadillo, the camelon, fainting goat, the hedgehog, the octopus, the possum, un, the possum with it when he feels nervous, he's an opossum, porcupine, a fluffer fish, a skunk, a tortoise. Dedicated to love to Joe, who makes me feel safe. So the gal that was writing the book was scared at times. And that when she dedicated her love to Joe, it made her feel safe. So there's Alfred and Sophia reading a book. That was an unusual book today. But you, I hope you enjoyed it, and have a great, lovely day. God bless.